Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about when to buy Team of the Years today and also revisit the Thursday flipping scenario because I saw a few comments on yesterday's YouTube video and I want to clear those up a little bit and just kind of, again, reiterate how I'm feeling about the potential for Thursday flips and how I think I may have not under... Un, I've not explained that in the best of ways in the kind of the two-part fashion that I'm looking at Thursday today. We might be able to do a double dip scenario. That's what I wanted to look at. But first of all, I want to talk about team of the years because these cards are obviously the brand new cards in FIFA right now. People want to try these. They're all coming back into packs tomorrow on Thursday. Let's take a look at some graphs from last year and how I think since the market is reacting in certain ways this year, how I feel like these cards will either boom or bust later this week and when you possibly might be able to buy them but of course today is the last day we only have one section of the team in packs tomorrow the full team is going to be in packs on thursday and that is a time where more people are going to be opening those saved up packs right now of course we've had some of these midfielders and attackers have kind of pretty crazy fluctuations since they've even been in packs gone out of packs um, you had this ronaldo who was 8.4 million coins first uh, day on that first day after all the packs were spammed when attackers were out and now this guy's up to 9 million coins right he's very very high he's very inflated does he come back down i think he does i think all of these cards will come down in the next 24 hours or so because let's face it they're going back into packs now last year we had some crazy movements as well and we had kind of like two buy windows last year. There were two buy windows for most of the players on the team. There was either a window that you bought on that day when they were fully released in packs because they started dropping then, or they actually rebounded from that point and then they got low again on the weekend league sell-off last year. So we'll talk about that kind of situation for this team. But let's take a look at last year. You guys remember these cards last year. There's kind of like three different scenarios that happened, right? First one is Cristiano Ronaldo. This guy was the 12th man. And this is the first thing I want to talk about is the 12th man. And I think honestly, Ronaldo himself every year is just going to be very rare and very sought after, especially with all the coins that are on this game this year and how high priced the top tier icons are on this game. Still, I think this Ronaldo is going to do well out of packs this year, albeit he is already 9 million coins. I would not be surprised if he drops back down towards the 8 mil range um, and then continues to go back higher. I would like to see him drop a mill. I really would. I'd like to see a lot of these cards drop nice chunks uh, either tomorrow on Thursday or even in the weekend league sell-off as people are still packing the cards. Um, one thing that's also going to be a determining factor on when to buy these cards is how long they're actually in packs. If they're in packs for all of next week, which I'm not expecting, I'm just expecting it through the weekend, then obviously we'd have a whole new situation um, and stuff like that. But it's honestly looking like these guys are only going to be in packs until Monday. So that's why I think we can assume that either t tomorrow on Thursday or uh, Monday morning, Sunday night, we can leak sell off will be the time for these. But of course, you see Ronaldo rising after his second day or his few days in packs. This guy went into packs on Friday last year and then uh, was only in packs for three days. Went down to 6.6 .6 million on that Monday and then boom. A couple weeks later, he's up to 8 million on the PlayStation just with the massive inflation and the rarity of that card and also it being a 99 Ronaldo. Now, this year, Messi probably winning the um, 12th Man Award will hope for a similar rise on a card like that, but it might not be as extreme just based off how Messi is in this game. But who knows? Maybe a team of the year upgrade to Messi will make him pretty cracked. Now, let's talk about De Bruyne, right? This is the second situation that happened last year. De Bruyne came into packs on Wednesday. Boom, full team comes in packs. Um, or actually Tuesday, then full team comes in packs down on Saturday, like right? Friday and Saturday is when he had his lowest Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 2.8 mil rebounded into that next week, very quickly up to three mil and then down again a little bit to 2.9. So KDB got hit with the pack supply. So basically this graph, what we're looking at for this year would be a card that gets supplied a bunch tomorrow on Thursday, and then is a very OP card, not OP, all these guys are OP, they're team of the years, but a very hyped up card that somebody wants to buy for their team that you see a huge rise on, right? Somebody that I would factor into this equation this year for this team of the year might be Bruno Fernandez. I think Bruno Fernandez might be a card this year that takes a dip tomorrow on Thursday with the supply from the packs, but then with the rest of the market, I think the market really, really explodes Thursday night. Maybe a little bit of panic into Friday, but then Friday night goes high again, and then it's high in the weekend, and then, you, of course, you have a little bit of a sell-off, but 
especially for these team of the year cards, people are looking to buy them and keep them in their team. Not They're not looking to buy them and try them out just for one weekend, right? If you're buying a team of the year card, that is one of the best cards in the game right now in FIFA. You're looking to buy that card and play with it for a while, right? So I don't think you'll see a crazy amount of sell-off on these team of the year cards. That's just my opinion. But I think Bruno is going to be one that you want to get in early because a lot of people are going to get on that card and it's probably going to fly out of packs and even into the weekend. Uh, so that's why I wanted to show you the KDB graph from last year. Now another one I'll show you is this uh, Mbappe graph, right? And this is the third scenario, I think, that we could have this year as well. Mbappe just kind of consistently dropped. Even after going out of packs, this guy was still dropping. He hit a low point in early February, bounced back up from 5.2 to 5.6, and then again, kept dropping, honestly. Kept dropping or kind of just chilling around the same price until team of the season. Um, that's another option that we could have with a lot of these cards, but really, it it's going to be hard to know. A person that might do that this year maybe is Ramos, maybe is Lewandowski, I mean, maybe it's Alexander-Arnold. Like Honestly, I think a lot of these team of the year cards will rise out of packs because of, I mean, yes, they're not as high rated as years before, but I mean, a lot of people just love team of the year, and they really, really love these cards. And it's just their team of the years this year. And with all the coins that are on the market, I think basically almost all of them will rise out of packs or at least maintain their price pretty well. Um, so yeah, honestly, I'm thinking between those two time frames, the cards that are the most hyped up, the cards that the most people want to buy. Now, of course, it's very interesting because you have guys like this Alfonso Davies, who as a left back in FIFA, as a team of the year left back, this guy is 2.1 million coins right now. He was 1.9 last night, kind of like at his lower end. Um, and he's obviously only been in packs for one day. I think a lot of these cards still need to drop. Uh, but I also think that they're going to be more expensive than we have seen in years past. This Alfonso Davies card might only get down to like 1.5 mil. But again, like we saw last week on Friday, with all the packs that are going to be opened up, Tomorrow on Thursday, I think that first one to three hours of the pack supply, of the undercutting, of the listing up on the market with lightning rounds, with saved up packs being open for the full team being out, and even people starting to grind upgrade packs, I think that will be a window, and then you'll see a bounce back later in the night on Thursday, maybe a rise into Friday, but then of course, Friday night for sure. I mean, Friday we'll get the 12th man in packs, some people might even wait, wait to, to buy or to open their packs until then, but a lot of people are going to start opening tomorrow on Thursday. And once you get to that point, I feel like for a lot of these Team of the Year cards, unless EA drops some insane content on Friday, like something repeatable, something that would be like a flashback Conte SBC could be kind of, kind of crazy and be something that would mess up the market a little bit. So that's like one of the only things. If they put out a new Icon SBC that was very cheap or some sort of like crazy flashback that was a really good value that like kind of like Boateng would just destroy the whole market not even its position not that, that not that Boateng destroyed the market but you know what I'm saying like that would move the market a lot I think a Conte would move the market a lot so just kind of talking through some of those things um I think that that Thursday time frame is going to be a great time to buy. Now, if it's a team of the year card that's maybe a little bit less hyped up and it's kind of hard to look at the team of the year and be like, hey, which one is a little overpriced right now? Which one is going to be one that doesn't really rise too well out of packs? I don't know about Trent Alexander-Arnold. I mean, yes, he looks like a cracked out card, but maybe not as good as some of the other team of the years. Um, another one that I'm not so sure about is Lewandowski. I know Lewandowski is brand new for team of the year. He's very hyped up. We're glad that he got one. Um, but I feel like this card needs to drop. I feel like this needs to be somewhere around like the middle two range. Um, if he hopefully gets there to be completely honest with you and remember all that supply that we saw on Friday when the attackers were in packs, I think you're going to see levels of supply like that tomorrow on Thursday. So that's why I'm interested. One card I think is going to fly after team of the year is going to be this guy. I think Mbappe is going to be flying after team of the year because this card this is like the team of the year Neymar from FIFA 19 where he's just ridiculously cracked. He's got the blue hair and I think this guy's going to explode after team of the year because this is the best Mbappe in this game and Mbappe is cracked the way that it is. So I think you have those two scenarios and those two time frames to be a buy for team of the year this year is that Thursday with all the supply. You might see it rebound back up into the weekend. If you think there was just so much supply on that Thursday and on that Friday for these cards that you're going to see a drop off or if there's some crazy content that comes out, then maybe you try to hold off until later in the week. Um, but I think for, you know, let's look at uh, Conte's graph as well. 
to be honest, if you're buying either at those two times, you're probably going to do well because look at these cards rising out of packs, right? Conte last year on that day of supply went down to 2.2 mil, rebounded to 2.4 came back down into the low two fours, maybe even two threes for a bit. And then, of course, a couple weeks later, he's 2.7, 2.8 million coins. Frankie de Young last year kind of got low. He got lower on the Monday sell-off, 1.7 instead of 1. Point, I guess it was about a 20K difference, to be honest with you. Not a huge difference. But you buy at 1.75, a couple months later, he's back up at 1.9 mil, uh, 1.9 mil. So regardless of whether you buy probably Thursday or whether you buy Monday, historically, Team of the Year cards, except for FIFA 19 when Future Stars was a surprise and stuff like that. I don't think it's going to be that much of a surprise this year. I think these cards will rise very nicely and very well out of packs into February, into March. Um, yes, they'll have their fluctuations, but these are the biggest cards so far this year, and I think they will have a nice rise. So that's how I'm feeling about Team of the Year cards. I'm, I'm giving you the green light. Thursday or Sunday night into Monday morning with weekly sell-off, either of those two times, whichever one you feel most comfortable with, and... Um, Maybe you buy one on Thursday, you see all the supply come out onto the market, and you're like, yo, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to buy for my team just yet. I'm going to sell it while it's high, and you think it's going to come down. There might be an opportunity to do that as well. But let's talk about, again, Thursday just as briefly what I'm seeing for Thursday flips this week. Because, yes, I do think there is going to be on the out-of-pack special card market the, the most, right? That's the, the place where I want to focus the most. I think there's going to be a very, very nice rise. You're already starting to see prices rise on the links, right? People are already starting to buy some of this stuff. Now, I know it's Wednesday and tomorrow or later tonight is rewards, um, but I still think you can keep your eye out on the market depending on what content drops today. People always like to sell stuff in a 6 p.m. UK, and um, especially for Bundesliga, Serie A, and links to Suarez. Those three things on this game are very, very enticing to me. And even some of the the German icons with the link to Boateng, I think that, you know, maybe guys like Schweinsteiger, like Lahm, um, I was talking to Nick a little bit about this and he agreed with me. We've seen a lot of those icons rise very nicely when big time SBCs come out. Like remember um, when we had Robin, right? We had Robin and Kleiber and the uh, Rijkaard center back card did fantastic that week, right? Baby icons, the, the Germans, Basically, if it's a meta icon that is the, has those German links, I think it could be a nice rise. Like, I'm going to watch this Mateus on open bid just to see where it goes. Uh, because if I could snag that at a low 1-2 or even under 1-2, that'd be fantastic. But just kind of keep an eye on some of that stuff. And I do think that on those out-of-pack special cards, as we're watching and as we're looking through some of these cards over here, I don't think you're going to... These guys are going to be starting to explode after... Uh, Thursday rewards, not so much, but maybe Thursday after all the packs are open and into Thursday night, that's when you're going to see this stuff explode. So that, the thing I wanted to re-explain was I didn't make it clear what I thought what was going to happen on Thursday after 6 p.m. when all the packs were going to be open. Yes, I did expect a drop on the stuff that is in packs and maybe a slight drop on some out-of-packs items just because of normal people um, th that bought cards for their team or that invested seeing, you know, an SBC come out or seeing the new the all team of the year in packs and they rip their packs they pack something cool and they need to go sell some cards to go build a different team or to kind of reorganize their team I think you will see some fluctuations on Thursday um, later in the day like around the content drop that could be buys then as well panic I guess you could say but a lot of these cards that I think are going to go up in this next week or then this next weekend the next few days are probably going to be buys before rewards if it's out of pack. So watch for some low fluctuations on these guys. You know, this Holland card, right? Doesn't have a team of the year. Yes, he does have a higher rated item, but this is the second best one. You know, you can you can pick him up for like 165, 170,000 coins flat, and he fluctuates to 180 all the time. So that's what I was saying and wanted to be clear with when I'm talking about some of these cards that I think we could be investing in for Thursday. So I mentioned selling before 6 p.m. UK if you see a rise because then you might be able to see some more panic after that, which I still believe there might be an opportunity to double dip. And that was my, that was the wording that I've used often. And I wanted to, I should have used it last night when I was talking about a, a market rise that will rise a little bit after rewards, then maybe come down a little bit right before the whole content drop happens. Um, that's kind of what I was mentioning with that scenario. And then after the content drop into the evening, just like we saw last week on Friday with all the packs open, you're going to see stuff balloon again, go even higher than it was before. Because now basically for out-of-packs cards and for people that are wanting to buy their teams, 
after they open their saved up packs, it's clear, right? You know, if they have saved up packs and they're not going to do too many upgrades, they just wanted to buy a team, or even if they are doing upgrades, but they still wanted to buy a team, uh, you can almost feel like you're clear, right? You've opened your saved up packs, like boom, all right, now it's time to get my team. I've got these coins and stuff like that. So that's why uh, I wanted to reiterate that. I think that some of these cards, like I'm watching this Sancho, I'm watching this Royce Rule Breaker, Royce Inform, a lot of the German links. I mean, a lot of these cards are really not up at all. This Royce Rule Breaker has been like two, 265 for this. Like that's actually a cracking deal for this Marco Royce. And again, I know he has an Inform that's 130,000 coins, but with all of the, the Bundesliga, all the German links that are happening right now, I like a lot of Bundesliga cards. There are some of them around the game um, that haven't really gone up much. Now, of course, you have had some that have gone up a lot, a lot like Kimmich's special items. Even that Royce Inform, this guy is up a little bit. He was 130,000 coins this morning. I mean, this guy was 120 low earlier in the week this week. Some of the stuff is still, I, in my opinion, cheap. I think this is viable. I think this is an investment opportunity. Um, and that's something that I'm going to be watching today. And um, hopefully seeing a nice little market rise with tomorrow on Thursday, uh, even after rewards, possibly a double dip scenario though with some of those cards. So I wanted to kind of reiterate that on this morning video today, um, just because I feel like I could have explained it a little bit better last night. So the market is healthy, all right? The market is very, very healthy. And we'll talk more specifically about everything that's gonna happen on the market on Thursday in the later upload later tonight but we'll see what happens for content today on wednesday probably just that 83 double um defenders pack maybe um something else maybe like a team of the year challenge sbc i'm not expecting a lot of content today so we'll see what happens on the game of fifa on wednesday but if you enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out